Hello, and welcome back to the ICE Demo Lab. This time we will be exploring the new Zero Touch provisioning feature introduced with ICE 3.1. What is Zero Touch provisioning? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'll be referring to it as ZTP in this video. ZTP is a method to automate the process of completing the setup script that appears during the middle of the ICE installation. Typically, when installing ICE, you will see this screen asking you to type setup to configure the appliance. Then you must assign the host name, IP address, DNS, NTP, and so forth. The problem is that this can hold up the installation of ICE if you're not sitting and watching the console window. Using a script to pre-populate these entries in an automated manner can drastically decrease the amount of time it takes to install ICE, especially if you're installing multiple ICE nodes. There are different methods that can be used for the ZTP process depending on the platform on which you will deploy ICE. AWS and VMware have native APIs that can be used to run the script while Cisco SNS appliances can be configured through the CIMC to run the script through the ICE ISO file and the configuration image file. VMware can also leverage this method. This table shows the methods I use to test the ZTP process on different platforms. As of this video, the Cisco supported methods are only Cisco CIMC, VMware, and AWS. But I am hoping that, that changes soon. Note the red X in the Hyper-V column. I'll cover this in a video detailing the Hyper-V installation, but this is the reason that I had to add a row for ICE ISO plus ZTP ISO installation. ZTP was created with Cisco CIMC in mind, and the use of the image file for ZTP configuration can be traced to this. The fact that the configuration must be an image file for the CIMC process to work prompted this use in VMware. Since VMware and CMC were the only platforms documented in the installation guide and the image file worked, there was no need to try any other file types. As you can see, the configuration as an ISO file works and can be used in any of the virtual environments other than AWS. I'll show you how to make both the image file and the ISO file in this video. Remember that this process is only for ICE 3.1 and newer. The first step is to copy the shell script from the ICE 3.1 installation guide. Since this is a Linux shell script, we need a Linux distro to create our file. These are the supported distros. I'll be using Ubuntu. I paste this script into a text editor to use when I am ready. Then it's time to make the configuration file. I'll create this in a text editor on my Ubuntu box so that I can quickly make changes to the hostname and IP address for multi-node deployments. When looking at the documentation, you can see that a repository can be created through this file. This repository will not be available after installation, so why could we need it? Well, by thinking ahead, Cisco has built in the ability to install a patch to the installation before the final reboot. Not only that, you can also install hot patches. These install after the patch. In this case, I'll be installing the log4j hot patch. You can also enable any of these listed services through the use of this file. In the terminal window of your Linux box, open nano. Paste in the script you copied from the installation guide and save it as create ZTP image .sh. Then run the chmod command to make it executable. Go back into nano, paste your configuration file and save it with the file extension .conf. Finally, using the sudo command, we can create the .img file. I'll show you what this looks like as I do it. On your Linux box, open your browser and point it to cs.co slash ice install guides. This will redirect you to the ice installation guide repository. Go to the ice 3.1 installation guide. Select additional installation information. Expand the chapter contents and scroll to creating the ZTP configuration file. Click the entry, copy the entire script and paste it into your text editor. Open a new tab for the text editor and create your configuration file. As you can see, I'm using the hostname ICE31PAN for this node. Open your terminal window and run nano. Paste in the show script we copied from the installation guide and save it as create ZTP image .sh. You can see when it appears in my home folder. Run the chmod command to make the script executable. Run nano again 
and copy the configuration we created in the text editor into Nano. Save this configuration as a .conf file. The file name can be anything you'd like, so if it makes sense to use host names, then do that. You can see this new file appear on my home directory once it's saved. Now we can make the .img file. You must run this with root or sudo privileges. Run the executable script we created using the .conf file we created to output it as a .img file. Once that script runs, you can see the .img file in my home folder. You will also see a confirmation of the file creation in the terminal window. Now let's add a configuration for another node. Change the host name and the IP address, then we can copy the configuration and paste it into Nano. Save this new configuration using the new hostname we used in the configuration file. Once it's saved, we can use the sudo command to create another configuration image. This time, however, instead of a .img file, we're going to create a .iso file. As you can see, once we've created our executable script, we don't have to recreate it. We can constantly use that same script to create all the configuration files we need for the entire deployment. So the only thing we need to change is the host name and IP address to create new files. Now we have the file we need to install ICE with Zero Touch provisioning. Stay tuned for further videos in this series and I'll go through all the different hypervisors that ICE is supported on and we'll show you how to install on every platform that is possible. Thank you.